Dr. Devi Ji is the principal of Royal College of Engineering and Technology. And uh, besides that, he is a, a very consistent and silent listener in the morning session. So, in this brief introduction, I will invite Devi Ji to put up her sharing based on these pointers within 20 minutes. The, over to you, Devi Ji. Yes, okay. Thank you, Bhaiya. Namaste. Namaste, Sarmila Didi. Namaste to all. My name is Devi. I am working for Royal College of Engineering and Technology, Akika Uttrishur, Kerala. After my retirement from my previous service with NSS College of Engineering, Palakkad in 2019, I joined to Royal College of Engineering and Technology as IQAC Director and then moved to principal post in 2020 and still continuing. My professional experiences at NSS College of Engineering and at Royal College of Engineering and Technology gave me so many learnings which helped me to grow. My family consists of my husband, our three sons. Two of them got married, elder one settled at Kochi and second one at Pune for the time being. Third son is pursuing his PG studies and I have one grandson too. I have entered into UHV family in 2020. I can evaluate me as a person who achieved on time the necessary needs of life as per society norms, which should make me happy and contented. When I used to look into me, I could identify the gap between what I am and what I want to be. This thought used to, to pop out from me at times. One day, I have got the mail from AICT mentioning UHV content and the online workshop based on it. The mail gave me an impression that this UHV program can give me the answer for the gap I am feeling. So I registered for the workshop in August 2020. After then, as I was very much excited with the content, I continued my journey attending more number of FTPs, refresher courses, face-to-face -face program, weekly sessions, and then to the morning session. One of my close friends, during our discussion related to my previous institution departmental procedures, just shared to me that although outcome is fine for the program planned, I am more caring in maintaining relationships, so not able to be with certain decisions of department or institution. This sentence touched me that time itself, and it was searching for decisions which are not hurting much the feelings of others. But we have to be progressive with proper outcomes that also I expect. After being together with UHV, UHV helped me to get answers to most of such questions, doubts, and problems, which brought harmony in me. Coming to exercises one and two, exercise one, step one, observing self by the self, which is the most important one that is happening in me nowadays, not from moment to moment, occasionally I have to say. I can observe my imagination, but I am not able to clearly distinguish desire, thought, expectation with a definite marking. My thoughts and related feelings, I am able to get it now. I am happy when my feelings are aligned with my natural acceptance. I am able to find the cause of unhappiness or disharmony when it happens in me but most of the time I am in harmony nowadays. When my feelings are based on assumptions with right understanding, I am in harmony. I am holding such feelings which help, which help me to be in relationship with all. Previously, during morning sessions, while observing self by self, the 10 minutes used to, to be a long duration for me, but while I am in ninth batch, I am able to cover the time by observing self by self easily. 
I am realizing that I have got the capacity to observe self by the self. I have started attending UHV morning sessions from fourth batch onwards. As I was anxious to know what it is, I was attending carefully without missing any sessions to the level best I can. Fifth, sixth, and seventh went on smoothly. During eighth session, I was attending as usual, but could not complete it due to ill health. It started with my husband and later on, I also got affected. We too moved away from all extra activities, concentrated only on recouping health, and now both are fine. From that time onwards, during my observation, thoughts related to health also getting preference, I am knowing. More time I have to spend on exercises on health. It is mostly important for all. I got that awareness clearly. I used to observe self by self while traveling during morning time to my college. When my eyes are open, I used to, to get distracted, sticking to many scenes around me. So I used to, to do that by closing my eyes. Still, I used to, to move away together with my imaginations from observation mode. As soon as I am realizing that, I used to, to come back. Also, I have observed that at times, I used to, to stick to such feelings which I can enjoy that which are in line with my natural acceptance. As I am getting reminded that I have to do with no reactions, I used to, to revert. Also, I observed that when I am in harmony, observing self by self happens successfully. Otherwise, when I am disturbed, I am not that much successful. Mostly, I am in harmony nowadays. Even when I am in harmony, I have to see how I will be in certain unfavorable situations, whether I am still in harmony. Then only I can strictly judge the real shift in me that has happened due to my exploration. I am doing that also now. I am observing that also now. I am in a responding state now with less reactions in me, both external and internal. The feelings in me based on wrong assumptions or feelings based on not on right understanding. I am able to find it now. Misunderstandings and related disharmony, misleading assumptions and disharmony or unhappiness due to that. Such moments I have undergone earlier, I am realizing that now and I am putting efforts for my development not to repeat that again. The moments of mutual fulfillment I am taking for such moments. The coexistence with the nature, although I am aware, still it is an information to me. I have to be more clear about it. I am feeling more in, I am more into relationship, harmony and coexistence now. As I want to have it from moment to moment, that feeling. I have kept the printout of the block diagram on right understanding, relationship, and physical facility on my table with an intention that whenever I am seeing that, I will explore. And it is happening now, I think. I am the seer, doer, and enjoyer. I am aware. I can decide my feelings and thoughts, and I can be in a state of harmony throughout. Coming to exercise two. The proposal that human being is coexistence of self and body. I am understanding the concept to a certain extent and I am exploring on it. I am able to observe the two units, self and body. I am realizing the exchange of information between the two units. No material transaction happens, I am realizing. My body is my instrument and I am using that as and when needed according to my choice. Coming to sensations, I am reading the sensations, which is my decision. And I am able to read sensations from any part of my body also. The meaning that I am giving is based on my sanskar. Certain sanskars in me are deeply rooted. 
and some are not to my natural acceptance. Enough effort is needed to change it. Each conversation or interactions, I am able to recollect or evaluate it nowadays. If at all, anything not in line with my natural acceptance, I am putting effort to get it corrected to be in line with my natural acceptance. Sometimes I will make sure that it is right for me. My husband used to give me suggestions or corrections at various situations. I noticed the way he is judging me and certain other people for the same activity. So I asked him why it is so. He told me that you have enough competence to do better. So I am telling you like that. So no disharmony in me now. I am seeing that I am trying to observe the intention of the others and I am able to sustain harmony in me. I am going through more situations happened in my life and I am able to get more clarity over intention. I am deciding my feelings, whether to be happy or unhappy. The sensations which create disharmony in me earlier are not the source of disharmony for me nowadays. I will think over any unpleasant or unfavorable incident and ask questions to myself and I am getting answers which help me to be in harmony. I am, to, I am able to see space everywhere. I am also in space I can see able to see consciousness units and material units, their coexistence in space. Due to my limited perception level, not able to observe the entire all-pervading space and units, and I am continuing my exploration. But the proposal that units are there in space with coexistence is guiding me to be more confident with the feeling that I didn't lose any relations which are so precious to me. I am unable to, I am able to be in the relations with a feeling of coexistence and I am in harmony now. All human beings are similar, I am knowing now. With right understanding, no discrimination, no differentiation feeling is happening. So I am able to be in harmony. At the beginning of UHV, I was so ignorant about self. I was with an impression that if I am more into the self, I may become more selfish. But as the contemplation, understanding and realization happens, I am getting more clarity on self. Self is the seer, doer and enjoyer. I am sure that now. The word definiteness, that is definite conduct in UHV, attracted me very much and I used it in my first presentation without clearly knowing it. Now, while in ninth session, I am aware what is definite conduct, how I can have it. So I am moving towards that definiteness in me with exploration. After UHV, my behavior with others, I am happy with the way I am behaving with others now. I am not that much, that much to physical facilities but complaints due to physiochemical changes is there, which is one of my deep-rooted sensor. I am still into mild reactions, while, for example, the screen is not getting shared when I have to act as a resource person in online mode. I have to overcome with necessary preparations I am knowing. I am practicing to be in harmony. Like that, I am preparing myself to manage time fruitfully rather than Spending on unnecessary thoughts, which will not help me to develop. The entire effort from my part is towards excellence, as proposed in UHV, I wish. I am grateful to entire UHV team for sharing such a strong concept of UHV in a very simple, step-by-step -step manner with utmost clarity. Special thanks to Sarmila Didi for me, motivating me. In addition to videos which are available, the textbook on human values by Ganesh Ji, Rajul Ji and R.R. Gorji is helping me to explore. I am committed to UHV and I am putting effort to be a regular attendee of various sessions. Also, I am taking measures in my institution 
to get UHV circulated through more certified members, that is from through our faculty, staff, and students. More strength will help me to come up with more activities related to UHV, I feel. As a volunteer, I didn't come up to my expected level, although I did some works as help desk team, FAQ member like that. I am planning more UHV activities in our campus and to my nearby campus in coming days. I am initiating involvement of my family members also into UHV. My sister-in-law attended UHV Malayalam workshop and she enjoyed and felt that it is very useful. I have to continue my journey together with UHV team for fulfilling my aspiration of harmony in continuity. Once again, thanking you all. Thank you. Yeah, yes, sir. Thank you, Deviji. As always, you put your sharing in a very precise and crisp manner. Thank you for putting your sharing um, for all of us. Very, very honest and simple and sharing has been very nice. And uh, I, we have been uh, used to listen to your queries and your participation in the morning session. So you and Prashant Bhaiya, every day it is, um, I take it as if it is a part of brain food to us. So we also explore along. Thank you very much and all the best wishes. Okay, I used to be a silent listener, Bhaiya, but I yeah. used to, to share at the times only, but whatever is in mind only, I used to, to share, but I think it may be useful. Okay. Because so we have to maintain, and it is very nice that we have been able to maintain. You have been able to maintain yourself physically uh, fit and mentally alert and participating. So, yes. Thank you very much. Very nice sharing. Yes. Which is yes. helping me a lot. Yes, yes. Yeah. Thank you. God is very yeah. great. And all of us are there. We share. Very nice. Nice. Thank you very much. Thank That's you, all. Yeah. Over to you. Over to you. you always also uh, put comments or sharing in chat or you know speak in mic. So you are sir, also an inspiration for all of us. Sir, or koshish karne wale ki kabhi har nioti. But we have to have a strong conviction and Jee. Jee. maintain the continuity, regularity. Thank you. And, and uh, I get energy, energy and heat and while listening to all all of us together. Thank you. Thank you. It's, it's true for all of us, in fact. Thank you. So uh, due to limitation of time, we may take comments from uh, Sir Miladivi, then we may proceed forward. Sir Miladivi, Namaste. Namaste, Devi ji. Namaste, Didi. Yeah, very nice to hear you. Like you mentioned, you quietly keep listening and we don't get much insight into what is going on in you. But then when you bring forward your sharing, one can see that you are quietly exploring, silently exploring within and coming to, you know, a lot of insights for yourself which are changing you in many ways, like you mentioned. Seeing this, you know, gap between what I am and what I want to be, I think that's a very powerful thing that we start with. Yeah, because yeah, it's very important. Because we know that, you know, this is not fulfilling enough for me. But what is, we are not sure about that. So then we end up you know, uh, feeling unfulfilled, dissatisfied, and don't know how to go about it. So now when you have that root, 
you were mentioning, um, you know, becoming more caring in relationships, taking decisions that ho don't hurt the feelings of others. I think these are very important points which you have been able to highlight that um, are very significant in our living. So how to take those tough decisions without hurting the other person? This what we keep talking about, you know, not doubting yes. the intention, but looking at the competence and then doing what you need to do outside, but still trying to maintain the feeling within. That is the crux of relationship, I feel, like we say, foundation of relationship. And I think if you're able to notice this and go along with this, that is, you know, half the work of relationship is done. Even being comfortable within you, like you mentioned, you know, that 10 minute self-observation is becoming easier. You're not as restless. That is an indicator that you are more centered within the self as compared to earlier. So these are all, I think, very good signs that you have been able to put forward in your sharing. Like Taraji was mentioning, sharing was very nice, crisp, to the point, honest, and uh, very simply put. And uh, I think, you know, what would really be useful at this point is to increase your participation in some form. Whatever is suitable for you at whatever time is convenient for you, whatever form of participation you feel to do to that or, you know, which would be appealing for you, you can take part in that. Because I think as your clarity grows, it comes very naturally to share. And I think you may even want to look at, you know, giving demo presentations, trying to um, see if you can um, take up the role of RP or PRP as time goes. So I would uh, encourage you to try for that. And also, um, you know, in whatever way, being in touch with the content, the exploration becomes deeper. So that, that way also, for our own learning, for our own exploration, and also this gift that we have gotten, if we can pass on this gift to others, it can make a whole lot of difference in so many people's lives. If we see how much difference it has made in our life, then I think we can also see that it is time that we also try to do the same for others. So with that hope, I mean, I'm, I would suggest that perhaps you can increase your participation. That would be very, very useful. And uh, of course, further exploration, you will continue. And I'm sure that you will continue joining in the morning sessions and being a part of this team, which is so indispensable. All the very best to you, Deviji. Thank you. Thank you, Sharmala Didi. So I will be with the UHV team because UHV only give me this harmony. Because of this harmony, I am feeling that I can take out my potential in various platforms. And I'm trying myself, I'm preparing myself to be the resource person with the help of Sunil G. Deepaji and Kerala chapter. And I have joined to the group of resource persons development team. So I have the feeling that I will be there as a resource person sharing whatever in me with others to the level best I can. Very Thank nice. You. Very nice. All the very best. Thank you, Sarmila Didi. And thank you, Indeliji, for uh, putting all your um, observations.